Hi, I'm Jenna from Digivisor and here's three strategic steps to lowering your CPC or your cost per click while keeping your performance as high as possible. Firstly, you want to use long-tailed keywords in your search ads. When you're trying to lower your cost per click, one of the first aspects you need to look at is the keywords that you're bidding on. Long-tail keywords are generally phrases which consist of four words or more. If you're not currently bidding on any long-tail keywords in your account, you should be. Why, you might ask? Well, long-tail keywords tend to have a much lower volume of searches attached to them, which means that there's much less competition in terms of bidding. So they're usually much cheaper than their broader, shorter keyword counterparts. While you will get more visitors to your website with a broad and short keyword, long-tail keywords allow you to attract more users looking to make a specific purchase. For example, going after a shorter keyword, like women's shoes, might get you a number of click-throughs, with a smaller number of those clicking through on women's platform over sneakers are much more likely to make a purchase and convert because they're looking for a specific product that you offer. You can monitor which keywords are working best for you with the search queries tool. This tool enables an easy view of the exact keywords and phrases that your audience is searching for, so that you can use them in your search ads to drive more traffic to your site. The second tip is to A-B test your ads. On Facebook, you can A-B test copy to optimize for cheaper clicks. You'd be surprised how two different ads within the same ad set can pull in completely different CPCs. Try swapping out images, switching out the CTA buttons, or changing the text to boost your Facebook ads CPC health. For Google Ads, you can also apply multiple audiences to your display campaigns and compare which ones pull in the lowest CPCs. Trialing and testing can be tedious, but it's an integral part of reducing your CPC. Luckily, it's super easy to compare across channels and monitor your paid media results on Digivisor to determine where your biggest audience lies and keep track of paid budgets along with your ROAS and conversions. Finally, the third tip is to make your ads more relevant. Easier said than done, right? Relevance is key when it comes to curating successful campaigns. Relevancy will also impact conversion rate as bringing the wrong people to your site through irrelevant keywords may well boost your traffic, but it will also significantly impact your bounce rate, proving no value for money and actually damaging your campaigns. The easiest way to make sure you're building relevant ad campaigns is to select keywords that you know that your target audience is searching for. You can do this easily in Digivisor through the keyword analytics table to quickly and efficiently identify which keywords are already working for you and where your biggest search opportunities lie. Don't forget to look at your previous ad campaigns and their CPC, what worked and what didn't. Keep ads simple but compelling. Easily compare live and historical paid campaign data through the paid tab on Digivisor to identify the ads that resonated with your audience and to help improve relevancy. In summary, the more refined your understanding of your audience is, the better you can craft your ad messaging directly to your ideal customers, and the higher your click-through rates will be without increasing costs. And Digivisor is one of the easiest and super affordable tools to understand your audience with. Check us out today with a 30-day free trial by following the link in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to us for more digital marketing tips and insights.